Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Good morning, Kristen. How are you? Good morning. I'm great, thanks. How are you? Thank you so much. I was told that we have the opportunity to talk about the Oscars. Yeah, we're excited for that. Thanks for joining us here. No problem. Where are you? So we're here at the Forevermark Diamond House, which is a private residence in Beverly Hills that we've decked out in diamonds. We brought in some of the most beautiful and rare diamonds from all over the globe, and it's here that celebrity stylists come to pull the pieces that you're going to see on the Oscars red carpet on Sunday. You are so lucky. You do this for a living, so this is probably, ah, oh, just another day at work for you. You know what? But it never them, gets old. <laughs> <laughs> but for, and I wanted to make that contrast because those of us who don't attend the Oscars and watch it on TV, this is a big deal, and you're taking us behind the scenes. Exactly. This is a sneak peek as to what goes on the days leading up to the Oscars. Okay. So tell us more about what celebrities or uh, uh, their uh, stylists are coming there. Is, is there like fashion? Is there a trend of diamonds that you come in and look at? So you, yeah, usually first celebrity stylists come in and they usually have a dress or two in mind. So we need to really display a wide assortment of diamonds so they can pick what they want. Um, we have a lot of timeless classic pieces and also some more edgy trend forward pieces as well. And one thing to keep in mind is all of these diamonds that you see are responsibly sourced and they give back to the communities that they come from as part of the De Beers group, which is something that we found is really important to stylists and the celebrities they work with. Okay, so you get to come to this exclusive house mm -hmm. in Beverly Hills. It's turned into a diamond house. That is really exciting by itself. So do you guys keep it under wraps? I know you must. It is a very secret, undisclosed location with lots of security and guards. Okay, so the stylists are coming in. They know what dress they're going to wear. They know how their hair is going to do. Do you guys give them any guidance or they just... Are they on their own? I say, give me that, give me that, and give me that. It depends. Some stylists come in and they have a very clear idea of what they're looking for. And they come in and they just pick the diamonds they want, and that's how it works for them. Other ones, we can kind of counsel them, and if they have multiple dress options, suggest different pieces depending on the style of dress. Okay, so when we're seeing your diamonds, we're seeing trends that are, are coming to us also, too? Yes, definitely. You can, all of the red carpet trends definitely trickle down into reality as well. So big trends that we've seen all award season are statement earrings. So think diamond ear cuffs and dangly earrings. Janelle Monet wore a gorgeous pair of ear climbers, and she wore a stunning pair, but you can also find smaller versions of these pieces that are more appropriate for everyday wear as well. Um, Go ahead. Statement necklaces, again, another big trend. Um, chokers are very in right now, and d diamond chokers on the red carpet have been a huge hit. I'm going to take a Facebook question for you, Kristen. And one, uh, one of our listeners who's listening live on Facebook, they want to know, do the stars ever come and pick out their own diamonds? Good question. We do sometimes get the stars to come in. Um, it, it really depends. Most of them rely heavily on their stylist now. But occasionally, we will get a star who's really into jewelry, and they'll want to come pick it out themselves. 
That's so great. So can you give us any jewelry predictions before we wrap up? You know, what pieces are going to be worn and what we can look for at home? And say, oh, yeah, we, we, we heard Kristen talking about that. For sure. I would say lots of diamond rings on lots of fingers. It's a trend that we've seen at the Golden Globes and SAG Awards. And also fancy shaped diamonds. Now, round diamonds have been really popular traditionally all on red carpets, but fancy shaped diamonds, which are anything besides round, have been really, really popular lately. And black label diamonds, they're cut so they shine brighter than any other diamonds. So look out for those. Well, we feel like we're going to be on the red carpet also, too, Kristen. Kristen, uh, my audience, I told you guys before she came on, she does this for a living. This is her job every day. Imagine Very lucky. this kind of job. <laughs> Kristen, where can my audience go and find out more information in case they want to be a little more Oscar and jewelry savvy? You can go to forevermark.com where you'll see lots of diamond inspirations, and you'll also find your nearest jeweler. Kristen, thank you so much for giving us behind-the-scenes preview, and we will be at the Oscars. Thank you very Thanks much for, for having me. Happy Show. Oscars. <laughs>